have to rearrange. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and welcome to another video. I'm here with my friend Katie, who is Hi one of friends. my classmates. And today we're going to be filming a taste test video, but this video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be taste testing exotic fruits and sharing them all and showing them to you. I got all this stuff from my friend Rain who has his own business called Miami Fruit and they specialize in exotic harder to find fruits and they're all grown locally here in Miami. Rain recently launched a website for his business so you guys can check that out. I'll put a link in the description of this video. So if you like anything you see in here, you can order it online and he ships anywhere in the United States. And coming from a vegan, I feel like this is a pretty good compliment, but his fruit is some of the best quality fruit that I've ever tried. So you should be excited. I'm so excited. All right, let's get started. So first we're gonna start with bananas. So we have four types of bananas and they're not like the conventional bananas you get at the grocery store. So this is a praying hands banana and um, it's like fluffier. So it's supposed to kind of be like a marshmallow. Ooh. It doesn't taste like a marshmallow, but it's like fluffier. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> All right. It's a little messy. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> it's fluffier. Yeah. It's like, it's sweet still. It's mm. almost like kind of creamier. I don't know. Yeah. It's very like refreshing, like very light. Mm-hmm. It's weird because like when I first tried bananas, I was just like, oh, there's one flavor of banana. Yeah, I know. And I like at first he showed me these bananas, I'm like, all bananas taste the same. And then I tried <laughs> some of these and I was like, oh no, they don't. Okay. So next we're trying an apple banana. This one's a little baby. This one to me is like more lemony. Mmm. Okay. That reminds me like closer to a plantain. Like mmm. Yeah. The next we have a Namwa banana. And I forget how these taste, but these are good. I feel like it's somewhere kind of in between the um, apple and the praying hands ones. I might cut like, I have a quarth of this. Yeah. You can have half if no, you want, but <laughs> we have a lot no, to get no. through. <laughs> wow, well, that doesn't even taste like a banana. Yeah, it's like, it's the texture of a banana, but It's like a sweet lemony, but it's not really lemony. It's but kind like, of like pear almost. Like yeah. Little, I don't know. That's really good. I need to get some of these. Bananas. I know. <laughs> okay, and then this last one is an Orinoco banana, or they're also called burros, I think, here in Miami. That's what Rain told me. And these are supposed to be more custardy. And I forget what else he said. <laughs> hmm. I feel like it's kind of like the Nawa, but it's a little less. Sweet and it's like creamier, I guess. Yeah, it's a lot softer. And yeah. Creamier. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for bananas. This next thing we're going to try is Jaboti Kaba. It's a berry. It kind of looks like a blueberry. Um, it's originally from Brazil, and they grow on the trunks of the tree, not from the leaves. Hmm, weird. Yeah. All right. So these were frozen, so they. But it's supposed to be like it has a harder shell that's tart, and then it's like soft and fluffy on the inside. Mm. They like pop in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's like kind of sweet. It reminds me of a blueberry, I think, just because of like the color. But I feel like that outer part kind of has like an herby flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. It's a lot more like bitter on the outside and then sweet on the inside. Like, you know those um, bushes that they have? Like, by, like, I don't know. There's always them by Target. Like, the bushes and they're wiry. They have like the blue berries on them. They're like wiry. Might be a Maryland thing. Yeah, I don't think we have those. Junipers? I think I'm kind of right with juniper. That's what they're called. Mmm. But they're interesting. I really like the, the inside of it, the white part. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I feel like it'd be even fluffier if they were fresh because they were frozen and I pulled them. Okay, next we have dragon fruit, which is these two right here. And there are two types of dragon fruit. There's a white type and a red type. So we'll try the white type first. This one is like a lot more mild in flavor and it's not as sweet. You can have that piece, it's better. Okay. <laughs> Do you eat the outside? Or no, just... I wouldn't eat the outside. It's very mild mm -hmm. and it has a lot of seeds in it. So it's like kind of crunchy. Yeah. We can try the red one now, which this one is sweeter and it's like 
hot pink, which I always think is cool. It makes really good smoothie bowls. You can have this piece. This okay. piece is better. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll do the spoon thing. To me, the red one definitely tastes a lot sweeter and almost like reminds me of honeysuckles. I don't know why. Mm, I can see that. Mm. Did you like the red one or the white one better? I think I like the red one. Me too. The white one's still good, but the red one's better. Okay. And then next, on this tray, we have jackfruit. And jackfruit, it's like green and spiky on the outside. And Juicy Fruit Bubblegum was like designed after the flavor of jackfruit. No way! So it kind of tastes like Juicy Fruit Gum. Oh, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> so, take a little pod. Mmm. This is really good. I know. Jackfruit's probably one of my favorite fruits. Why have I never tried this? Like, it kind of tastes like juicy fruit. I don't know, like... It has, like, that familiar taste, but it's also, like, some a different flavor mm -hmm. to it that's, like, new. It's really hard to describe. So you're going to have to steal jackfruit down from your neighbor's tree now that you have it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> going on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. So next we're going to try the lychees. And these have a like softish kind of shell. It's like pretty easy to crack. And on the inside, it's white and it has a seed in the center. And these are emperor lychees, so they're supposed to be a little juicier. But sometimes I squirt myself Ooh. in the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, you did that so fast. You've done this before. I have some experience. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the fruit looks like. It's like, it looks like a giant grape, kind of like a peeled grape to me. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I used to peel my grapes when I got bored really? before I ate them. <laughs> yeah. That's not a work. Yeah. All right. Wait, is there a seed in this one? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. I feel like it's milder, but it's very hydrating. Like yeah. It's, it's really juicy. It reminds me of not like how watermelon is just very like not a strong flavor, yeah. but very refreshing. It reminds me of something like that. I agree. Okay. So next. We'll take a mini break from fruit and go on to potatoes. So Rain has two really cool types of potatoes. They're Japanese sweet potatoes. Well, these definitely are. They're sweeter than normal potatoes. Um, these are purple on the outside and white on the inside. These are white on the outside and purple on the inside. Um, so fun. So I cooked them up so we have like little fries here on this paper towel. I can't really see. But yeah, so we're trying the white ones that are the white on the inside first. They're usually like sweet and they kind of taste like cotton candy. Tastes like french fries. Yeah. But better. And then these purple ones, I was talking to Rain and I told him that the ones we just tried were my favorite sweet potatoes and he said these are going to be my new favorites. Mm. So I think they're like even sweeter. And these are like so oh, purple. They're so pretty on yeah, the inside. Yeah, they're crazy. When you cut into them on the raw too, it looks like blue and purple tie dye. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I like these ones a lot. They're kind of like vanilla y. I can see that. Mm, I just love the color. <laughs> I know. It's like one of the best parts of eating them. Speed Pinterest. Let's do this one. <laughs> okay. So next we have an egg fruit. It's also called a canistole, I believe. And it's called an egg fruit because the texture of the fruit on the inside is really dense, kind of like a hard boiled egg yolk. So I'm gonna cut into this and let's see. So it's like super yellow, like an egg yolk, I guess. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like very sweet at first. And then like has like a sub, I don't know. I can't put a finger on it, but yeah. I like it. It's like, it's really hard to describe. I feel like it's kind of like a tropical flavor, but there are some like undertones of something else, like you were saying. But it's definitely worth trying out. Yeah. I'm happy to try one because I've always been interested. Do you know what like people put this in? Or I think people might make like pies with it, so they'll like blend it and kind of I make like a cheesecake like type of thing or like put it in a smoothie you got a little egg fruit right here oh no here oh, no but you just missed it there <laughs> <laughs> thanks for looking out for me oh, someone gosh. would have commented saying <laughs> on my face next i guess we can just try this gigantic avocado there are lots of different types of avocados i'm not sure exactly what type this one is but it's a lot bigger so it's not as creamy as the haas avocado which is like the standard <laughs> avocado in america 
but I feel like this one is a lot easier to like you said it's not as creamy yeah it's like more watery but I feel like it's easier to like eat it by itself I think it's more popular in Brazil and I'm pretty sure they'll just like crack one open and just eat it plain oh yeah that's not what I'm used to for avocado yeah like I wouldn't I wouldn't use this one for like guacamole but I feel like it, it's like kind of a light refreshing snack yeah yeah. Much different mouthfeel than yeah. regular avocado. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. What should we do? We can try the giant mango. All right, let's do it. Okay, so Katie and I have a love for finding mangoes in Miami, <laughs> and we both compare like how many mangoes we'll get all the Somewhat way to school. Somewhat obsession. <laughs> I mean, you can't deny free food. I found, but I found two on the way here. Yeah, so, so I'm jealous. <laughs> So this is uh, an Indian variety of mango, and as you can tell, it's pretty gigantic. <laughs> so, okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is very big. This is what it looks like on the inside. I'm so bad at cutting mangoes like this. Like, no, that was perfect. <laughs> well, <laughs> half of it worked out. The other half is kind of <laughs> floppy. Wait for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh wow, that tastes so fresh. It's so That's good. really good. This yeah, variety is good. Bite. You can have what you want. <laughs> um, I like this one because I think some mangoes that you get, they're like really fibery. And I don't know about you, but when I bite oh, into yeah. them, I get a bunch it's of fibers in my teeth. teeth. But this one's like super soft and it's not, there's yeah. no like strings in it at all. Yeah, it's always awkward eating mango in public. Yeah, I know. I feel like that's why I put dental floss in my bag. <laughs> so next we have Aki. And this is what the fruit looks like. These are like seeds and the fruit itself is around it. And it's like really hard and dense and it's not sweet like a fruit. It's actually, it's really creamy, it's fattier and it's kind of like nutty and cheesy. So if you wanna pull that one so off. right here. Mm -hmm. And a fun fact, this fruit is toxic if you don't eat it before it's ripe. So let's eat it. Yeah. <laughs> But so okay, you see that like this. pink stuff on it, like right there, it's really tiny. Okay. If you just will rip it off around the seed and usually it all comes off with the seed. So it's like, it's very dense, but the more you, it kind of gets like creamy in your mouth. It's really hard to describe. I just tried. It's just like a mix between cheese and nuts. Yeah. <laughs> You're completely right. Like it's super creamy, but it's weird because usually creamier things are like softer and mm -hmm. it's kind of chewy when you bite yeah. into it. My friend said she really likes it to put it on top of pizza. Oh, interesting. Get that cheese feel. Yeah, that makes sense. So then Rain was lucky enough to gift me a mame sapote and unfortunately this one's not ripe so I can't show it to you on camera but I have talked about this before. I'll insert a little clip. This fruit is really delicious. It tastes like a candied sweet potato and it's like super dense but it's really good in smoothies or like raw desserts. So if you guys are interested in buying mame sapote you should definitely check out Rain's website. But the final fruit we're going to be tasting for you today is a soursop and it kind of looks like a, I don't know, a little spiky green bean. <laughs> but this fruit is really good for cancer killing properties apparently. So Staying healthy. Yeah. We're going to be cancer free. And I'm not really sure how to cut into it. So I'm just going to cut in half. There's a lot of seeds in it I think. It's like custardy. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like custardy. And it's like sour, sweet, tropical -y. It's hard to describe. That's what he said. Did you try it yet? I have not tried it yet. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so good. I'm a big fan. It's like, I don't know. It's like creamy, but it's not fatty. And it's like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's so good. Oh. Like and this one I've just seen it. Kind of like lime, but sweet. Yeah, it has like a citrus aspect to it, but it's very sweet. Yeah. Mm. And it's so like creamy, like it's so like smooth in your mouth. Yeah. Sorry. But that one's definitely good. Now you can go for it. So, which fruits or things were your favorites? Well, I have to go with that one. Was my absolute favorite. <laughs> that one was really good too. What's it called again? Soursop. Soursop. 
I it's also like, like Guanabana or something. Guanabana? Something like that. Uh, it starts with a G. I'm not entirely sure, but it's more commonly known as sour sop here in the states. I think. I've never even heard of that one. That that was yeah. so good. I really like those purple potatoes. The purple potatoes were good too. And like every type of banana was awesome. Yeah, all the bananas are really cool. I have to go with the sour sop. That mango was really good too. Yeah. But. Hard yeah. choices, they're all so good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, guys, that's everything we have for today. If you're interested in getting any of this fruit yourself, be sure to check out Rain's website. They sell individual fruit by the case, or they also sell a variety box if you're interested in trying more of a wider variety of things out. And they get all the fruit on Mondays and ship it out to you on Tuesday, so it'll always arrive fresh at your door. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.